Derbyshire captain Wayne Madsen scored an exceptional 100 on the second day of the LV County Championship match with Worcestershire at New Road on a day where most others really struggled, especially against the spin of Syed Ajmal. Only 23 balls were possible on the opening day, yet Derbyshire still began the second morning with two men out and only three runs on the board, so they needed a lot from both Shivnarine Chanderpaul and Madsen from the outset at a ground where it is still remarkable that any cricket is being played after the winter downpours. Conditions here against Kent were not easy to bat in, with 250 being a good total, and things didn't seem to be any different on this occasion, which made all of these boundaries from Madsen and Chanderpaul very handy to their team. 30 overs went by without a wicket, with the score moving on to 78. Chanderpaul had made 32 of those when he was out before registering a 50 for the first time this season, as Gareth Andrew had him LBW shortly before lunch. It started to collapse after the interval. Before another run had been added, Chesney Hughes went in the same way to the same bowler. Then Ajmal joined the party, initially appealing for LBW. He then went up for the bat pad as well, and that was answered in the affirmative to remove Wes Durston for two. Yorkshire Loney wicketkeeper Dan Hodgson was out next ball, although he won't have been the first man to be outfoxed by Ajmal, who did win the LBW decision this time. That reduced Derbyshire to a rather troublesome 83 for 6, but they still had the hard-working Madsen at the crease. He was superb in the relegation season last year, and this 50 just continued that form. He needed 143 balls for this half-century, which was reached with a delightful on-drive, which brought him his seventh boundary. David Wainwright was the next man to fall. He'd made 10 when he was trapped in front by Charlie Morris at 121 for 7. That became 136 for 8 when Tony Palladino swept Ajmal to Morris to go for 11. Worcestershire now just needed to finish a fine job off, but their attack was the latest to find Tim Grunewald in fine form with the bat. He came into this game on the back of 250s. And with Madsen continuing to defy the odds, there was still a chance that his side could get beyond 200. Madsen's innings showed all and sundry his technical skills and his fighting spirit. He still had a job to do as he now approached a quite brilliant 100. He scampered through for a quick single to get to three figures. What a knock it had been for the Derbyshire captain who'd needed 228 balls to get to his mark. In tough batting conditions, he'd been at the crease for more than four and a half hours. He'd found the boundary on a dozen occasions and rightly celebrated a fantastic achievement. He put on 56 with Grunewald who was bounced out by Morris. Matt Pardo taking the catch under the helmet. But Madsen still found support from last man Mark Footit, who went on the attack, pulling Morris for a maximum. Madsen also had some fun and games as he produced some remarkable shots to take him onto 111, made out of his side's 219. That's almost half of the runs. Apart from a few double-figure contributions from the tail, only Chanderpaul had stuck it out with him for any length of time. He was left unbeaten when footed on 17, centre ball from Ajmal, high into the sky to be caught by Alexa Cavese. Ajmal ended with figures of 4 for 60 from 26 and a half testing overs. Worcestershire were left with 16 overs to survive until the end of the day and their own dependable skipper Daryl Mitchell saw out those overs in partnership with Pardo. Both struck just one boundary each as they made it to 31 without loss by the close. That means that Worcestershire will go into the second day trailing by 188 runs and they will hope someone can match the efforts of Madsen to give them a healthy first innings lead. Derbyshire will be trying everything to ensure that that doesn't happen.